Okay, good morning everybody. Uh, good to see you all this morning, be with you. My computer's running a little slow, that's why I'm running a little behind. So uh, we'll see who jumps on this morning, uh, on this Thursday morning at 10.10 or 10.12, uh, I guess it is right now. Uh, I see one, that's got to be Joe. Uh, we'll see who else we can go on here this morning. There he is. Oh, from afar, are you down in Indiana, Joe? Uh, hey, all right, you guys are popping on now. Um, good to be with you this morning. We are continuing our look uh, today. Uh, we're going to continue to use the Moravian text. Uh, so hopefully all of you got that already this morning. Um, and we're able to uh, take some time and maybe read through uh, some of those scriptures. Uh, today we're going to continue our look at Luke chapter 6 um, and kind of those powerful words of, of Jesus as he calls us uh, to follow him in the path of, of life. Uh, and so um, we will continue our, our look at that today. Uh, maybe some of you are new here on this morning, but we what we've been doing this week, and what we're going to continue to do as we move forward is use uh, the Moravian Daily Text as our guide. Uh, for disciples, uh, for our dis uh, devotions uh, each each morning, uh, you can go uh, online. Uh, there's a link actually here in our Facebook page uh, that enables you to uh, sign up for this Moravian text. Uh, it's a short little email that comes and it gives you a couple of verses for the day that we can uh, use for direction, and then uh, actually kind of a schedule uh, for us to be in the Word of God in the Scriptures uh, each day. And so um, it follows a certain pattern. Uh, there's a psalm for the day, and then uh, an Old Testament reading and a New Testament reading. Uh, we're going to primarily focus on the New Testament uh, in these days. Um, and so um, we find ourselves now in the book of, of Luke, um, which has got some really great teachings. This is uh, the teachings of Jesus right now, the words of Jesus. Uh, we also want to walk in the ways of, of Jesus as well. Um, and so we uh, use for our, our theme today a, 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 a verse that I, I, I enjoy. It comes from Psalm 16, 11. It says, um, uh, when, we follow, uh, when we follow God in, when we follow him, um, he, he leads us on the path of life. Uh, and, and there is joy. Um, and I think we all need direction and guidance in, in our walk, and um, we have a God uh, who, who does that. Let me just read for you the, the verses for today from Psalm 8.1. It says, Our Lord, O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Psalm 8.1. O Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Uh, Mary said, uh, this is from Luke 1, 49, The Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Uh, o Lord, our Sovereign, how majestic is your name. Um, today we focus on the name of, of God. We, we looked at his face yesterday, and, and today we hear again the name of, of God. O Lord, our Sovereign, how majestic, how, how wonderful is your name in all the earth. Um, Mary, the mighty one has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His name is set apart. It's different. Um, that's what that word holy means. And, and when we follow him on this path of life, when we receive the name that he's given to us, because each of us has been given his name in baptism, uh, there, is, there is joy. Uh, but we don't always, obviously, uh, carry that name very well, represent that name very well. Um, and and and, and uh, as a result of that, we often struggle. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about carrying burdens this this week, uh, this weekend, um, and we often carry around burdens uh, that we need not carry around. Uh, instead of joy, uh, there is, there is burdens because we we don't live out the new name that we have been given as as sons and daughters of of the King. Uh, but to to carry that name. And to represent that name well is not easy. In fact, uh, today um, 
as we turn our attention to Luke chapter 6 um, and continue with the, the teachings of Jesus, we recognize how difficult it is to represent the name of our God because um, it's totally different. It's totally set apart from the ways of this world and what comes naturally to us. And so uh, we really have to be intentional. Uh, we really have to understand um, that it doesn't come easy for us to walk in this path to represent this name, uh, God's name. Um, but, uh, but, but we can do that when we are filled with the, the power of the Holy Spirit um, and recognize that, that it really, in order for there to be change in this world, it really starts with me. And we, we spend a lot of time focusing and pointing our fingers at others rather than focusing on our, ourselves. And Jesus is a master at this, of turning things around and pointing things at us and saying, take a look at your own life before you look at, at others. Because we have a tendency to, to focus on others before we focus on ourselves. And we spend a whole lot of time focused on what we're against <laughs> rather than what we're for. And that becomes burdensome. And God doesn't want that for us. And so he calls us to be people who uh, recognize that he is for us uh, so that we uh, can be for others. And we can live in this way that Jesus would have us live. And so today we turn our attention again to uh, Luke chapter 6, verses 39 through 49. Now I'm hoping some of you have already read this uh, in uh, the NIV, and it's this section about um, judging others, uh, and then the tree and its fruit, what are we producing, and then the wise and the foolish builders. I'm going to read it for the message again to get a different perspective on it uh, so that you guys can grab a hold of this new way of life, this path of life that God wants for us, where we can experience the joy, uh, the real joy that God wants for us as we represent God's name. So let me read this from you, uh, Luke 6, 37 to 47. Uh, or 49. It says, uh, don't pick on people, jump on their faults, criticize their faults, their failures, unless, of course, you want the same treatment. Don't condemn those who are down. That hardness can boomerang. Be easy on people. You'll find life a lot easier. Give away your life. You'll find life given back, but not merely given back given back with bonus and blessing. Giving, not getting, is the way. Generosity begets generosity. He quoted a proverb, Jesus quoted a proverb, can a blind man guide a blind man? Wouldn't they both end up in the ditch? An apprentice, apprentice doesn't lecture the master. The point is to be careful who you follow as your teacher. It's easy to see a smudge on your neighbor's face and be oblivious to the ugly, ugly sneer on your own. Do you have the nerve to say, let me wash your face for you when your own face is disordered, distorted by contempt? It's this I know better than you mentality again, playing a holier than thou part instead of just living your own part. Wipe the ugly sneer off your own face and you might be fit to offer a washcloth to your neighbor. You don't get wormy apples off a healthy tree, nor good apples off a diseased tree. The health of the apple tells the health of the tree. You must begin with your own life-giving lives. It's you. It's who you are. Not what you say and do that counts. Your true being, bring, brim, being brims over into true words and deeds. Why are you so polite with me always saying, yes, sir, that's right, sir, but never doing a thing, I tell you. These words I speak to you are not mere additions to your life, home, homeowner improvements to your standard of living. They are foundation words, words to build a life on. If you work the words into your life, you are like a smart carpenter who dug deep and laid the foundation of his house on bedrock. 
When the river burst its banks and crashed against that house, nothing could shake it. It was built to last. But if you just use my words in Bible studies and don't work them into your life, you are like a dumb carpenter who built a house but skipped the foundation. When the swollen river came crashing in, it collapsed like a house of cards. It was a total loss. Jesus is showing us the path of life, the path of joy, um, as we represent the name of our God in the way that we live our lives. We've all heard these words before, and Jesus knows that, and that's why he challenges us here and says, don't merely just hear these words, but put these words into practice. Build your life on them. Is it easy? No. But as we saw yesterday, God is merciful to us. That is who our God is, so that we can be people of mercy. So that we can re re represent his name to the world. These are hard things, difficult things. They're the way of sacrifice. But we are promised when we are generous that generosity begets generosity. Instead of being stingy, we can be people who are willing to give our lives away. And it comes down to trust. Trusting that God has got our back, that he will provide, that he will care for us as he has promised. And sometimes it doesn't look like it's going to happen. And we're going to be taken advantage of. We're going to be misused and mistreated. And sometimes that happens. Uh, it happened to Jesus. Um, and, and Jesus really addresses that, that here, doesn't he? Um, why do you... Um, it, a student is not above his teacher. But everyone who is fully trained will be like his teacher. We oftentimes think we, we are above our teacher, and not going to face what Jesus faced. But if we follow in his way, we will. Um, and it's, it's really living a life knowing that God is for us so that we can be for people. Yes, we can be against things, but ultimately, uh, we want to be for our God and we want to be for other people because God has been for us. And it takes the burden off, it takes the load off, and it enables us to really live a life of, of joy. And so today, uh, as you hear these words of, of Jesus, remember God is sovereign, and that his name is, is holy, it's set apart, it's different, and as those who bear his name, we are called to be different. We are called to be set apart from the world in which we live. And when we put these things into practice, we have a solid foundation because the storms are going to come jesus doesn't say that it's not going to ever happen uh, the storms are going to come the river is going to rise we're in the midst of it right now are we going to live our lives on a solid foundation a sure and certain foundation because when we do that's when we find real joy a couple of prayers uh, prayer requests today uh, we pray for grace uh, kokendorfer's uh, daughter ellen uh, she lives down in Tennessee and was diagnosed with uh, COVID-19 this week. Uh, she deals with some asthma issues uh, and uh, spiked a very high fever, and so we pray for her recovery in this time. Uh, we also pray for uh, Lou's friend, Mary. Uh, we also, uh, on this weekend, uh, pray for our nation, uh, this divided nation, that we could find restoration and wholeness. Uh, but everywhere we turn, it seems it's more and more divided. And, and, and uh, we have opportunity, I believe, um, to bring a healing and wholeness, uh, or a healing and wholeness that, that only God can bring. And uh, as we represent his name, we can do the same. Uh, we pray that God would continue to provide for us as a church, and uh, we would be able to carry out our mission, even in these difficult times, uh, to be people who are following Jesus together with that purpose that our neighbors and the next generation will experience this, this life-changing love that God has for us, that he's for us and not against us, um, and, and what a difference that can make. So let me pray today. Uh, Father, we come to you today, and we thank you for revealing your name uh, to us 
a name that is above every name. Uh, it is holy. It is set apart. And you have given us that name. You have placed that name on us as your sons and daughters, and we seek to represent it well. And yet, Lord, we know that that's difficult. Uh, we've, we've seen it. We've experienced it. Uh, and yet, Lord, uh, we have seen how you are for us, uh, and that really uh, makes a huge difference. It, it changes us knowing that you are for us and not against us and that you want good for us, your people. It, may, it enables us to be people who are for others, not just against them. Uh, Lord, help us to represent that name well uh, in the way that we live our lives, uh, knowing that there will be sacrifices, there will be calls uh, to count the cost. Uh, and, and we know, Lord, that it is, is worth it when we do, because you will provide. Uh, you have built you have a, a very solid foundation. You are the rock upon which we can build our lives, and nothing can, can overcome that. Uh, we pray today for those who are dealing with uh, heavy burdens, uh, those who are dealing with health issues for Ellen uh, and for Mary and for others. Um, we pray for Dylan's family today as, as he is laid to rest, a young boy, three years of age. Um, tragic death, Lord. Um, and so we pray your your outpouring of peace on this family and their incomprehensible grief. Um, and just, uh, Lord, that uh, they would have people who would walk alongside them and know that they, were, that they would know that they are not alone in this, that you will never leave or forsake them. Um, we pray, Lord, for our nation uh, on this weekend that you would, uh, again, pour your blessing upon us, Lord, um, and that we would would understand that it, it begins with, with each of us, not pointing the fingers at others, but at our own lives and seeing our need for you. Uh, we pray for others who carry heavy burdens uh, in relationships, uh, with health, uh, with mental health, um, with struggles, uh, with uncertainties, with fears. Uh, Lord, lift the burden uh, and, and carry us in these, these difficult times. Uh, Lord, uh, for all these things, um, we pray now in, in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, just to share with you guys, I won't be, uh, we're going to kind of move to a three-day-a-week 10-10. Uh, um, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, uh, we've given you some tools. I just encourage you to continue to be in uh, God's Word uh, through the Moravian text. Keep, keep it as simple as you like. If it's just reading those two verses and reading the prayer, uh, that's powerful. You're in God's Word. If you want to start to read Scripture, I would certainly encourage you to do that. And just grab one, one point that you can take with you for the day uh, that, that you want to walk, walk with God uh, on that path of life. That's mine for today. Uh, and just ask that He would help me to do that. Uh, and so... Uh, Enjoy your 4th of July weekend. Uh, we'll see some of you on Sunday morning uh, as we look forward to reopening our building and having uh, people gather for, for worship. Um, we're excited about that. There's the sign of genius if you if you're, uh, would like to be a part of that. Um, and you can sign up for that uh, at our website. Uh, you can uh, go to the, the, the weekly uh, update uh, on our email. Uh, that has the link for that. I think there's still a few slots open for Sunday, so uh, if you'd like to come, you're certainly uh, welcome. I think we're going to open those up uh, on Thursdays of each week if, if they aren't filled for anybody who would like to come. So uh, if you'd like to uh, uh, sign up, I think there's still a couple spots left. Sign up genius uh, at our website. Um, God's blessed to you, you guys. I uh, know that he's for you, not against you. Um, and uh, how good that is to know today. Uh, go, go in his peace. And have a good day. Good weekend. Happy 4th. Bye-bye.